every teacher has his or her own goal. And our ultimate goal for the entire cohort is to build literacy and writing and the connections that the children make and bring on that love of literacy. So we do classroom observations, we debrief and we talk. And the big difference with the lab cohort observations is you spend a good chunk of time. We're not doing the 15 minutes or five minute walkthroughs and trying to get a snapshot. Within that 45 minutes to an hour, we're really focusing on what the teacher is doing and how the students are responding to that craft or the activity or the lesson and we can give feedback on that. And you know what we've been studying. Why do you think I'm reading you this story today? Lab cohort has made me grow in so many ways. The biggest one is just to make sure that I stay focused on my goal. Um, with all the things that kind of come in, whether it's helping my grade level or helping somebody else or doing RTI and talking to people, all those things kind of get in the way of me being able to really grow on me. And lab cohort is that accountability that I have every month. Oh my gosh, okay, I haven't been doing what I said that I was gonna do. And it really forces me to stick to that goal, which has been tremendous. So I've seen great growth in certain areas. As a first year, second year teacher, I've felt overwhelmed. We have all these new standards and the new curriculum. For me, it was a total shift in career. So having that outlet where I can talk to other teachers has really been great in helping me to not feel so overwhelmed and have a, a safe place to go to. It's kind of like getting together with the family and, and just laughing. I mean, we're working, but it's, it's good to sometimes commiserate with everyone there and talk about what's going on and I'm having a hard time and to come to find out someone right next to you is, is doing the same thing. And so it just feels good to, to have that camaraderie. I have a wide range of grade levels because I have K through six special ed. Um, in a resource pullout, so they're all with me at the same time. Being part of the cohort and seeing the possibilities helped me to figure out what to do to help them. Do their, their writing while we're reading and then when we're having our discussion. I've seen the lab cohort affect the teachers who are participating in it because it keeps their spirit bright. They keep motivated, they keep um, on track in whatever their literacy goal is because of that teacher collaboration and the professional development they're receiving and the resources that they're sharing with each other. And through that growth mindset that the teachers come to lab with, they come to their classrooms with. And that has an impact on student achievement and the way students view learning themselves. Ms. Tyra makes us write about the book and she makes, and she does those little circles and, and she says like, what was the book about? Did you like it? What was, like, do you understand it? Like, do you understand what that means? In the beginning, she said, it said she was a foster child. So like, I know how she, like, she feels. After we read a book, like as a class, we talk about it and then like that helps me understand it better. It was just authentic, like the little ones, I mean they brought in everything, like the, can I make a connection? Can I, I have it? this one student who, he, he tries his best and he puts all he has into his work. And you know that some things he's getting, but there was just a little bit that, you know, when you were looking at his work, something was still missing. And I was trying to figure out what was it. He would lose focus about what he needed to write as well as lose focus on how to find that text evidence. When we went to see a lab observation, one of the teachers was working with their students on how to give text evidence to support their thinking. Going back to work with him, I need to make sure that I'm very direct with him and telling him specifically what it is that I'm looking for. And so showing him how to pull the text evidence, okay, you're saying this, what in the text made you say that? He's been able to increase in showing, I can prove what I'm thinking because I know I can go back in the text and find the answer. In the beginning of the lab cohort, is I, I chose my goal of uh, student self-assessment and monitoring their progress. Um, I felt like it was a bit too much for me to handle in the beginning and so I, I flirted with the idea of just chucking that goal aside and doing what I normally do but the other teachers give me the feedback. It helped me because now we're here in the third quarter and now I have my students setting their own goals, mo most of them around like reading uh, fluency you know, I want to read this many words per minute, and they're setting their own goals, they're tracking their own, their own goals through collaborative conversation. You know, and that was an idea that I got through the lab cohort. I wasn't connecting with the students. 
I was teaching whole group quite a bit. But now, because of the way that, we, way that we're teaching and we're conferring and we're doing running records and there's a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, I'm getting a lot of reading information, but I'm also getting to know my kids in a deeper way. And that, to me, is so valuable. And that's why you teach, you know, because of the relationship with the child. And I want them to read. I want them to be successful, but I also want to know who they are. And this style of teaching has allowed me to do that. What I'm looking forward to is to, um, you know, figure out what's the next step for me within the, the cohort. What can I do to better my practice in my school and help others? Because I feel like I've been helped so much, I want to, you know, take that next step.